What's up, Ragin Nation? How's it going? This is Alex here, and you're watching Rage and Rona Review. Got a review for you. Last weekend, I checked out Shaft. It's the sequel to the 2000 crime thriller of the same name, Shaft. The sequel is not even called Shaft 2 or Shaft Returns or The Revenge of Shaft. It's just called Shaft. And to make things more confusing, they both star Samuel Jackson as the title character, John Shaft. The original was directed by the late John Singleton. The sequel is directed by Tim Story and it also stars Jesse T. Usher as J.J. Shaft, um, John Shaft's son, and also Richard Roundtree as John Shaft Sr., the original Shaft. Now, if you don't already know, Shaft is actually a series of black exploitation era films which came out in the 1970s, played by Richard Roundtree, or rather starring Richard Roundtree. He's the original Shaft. And... In 1971, we had Shaft, and then in 1972, we had Shaft's Big Score, and in 1973, uh, Shaft in Africa, and then they went on to make a, a TV series which uh, lasted from 1973 to 1974, uh, which also starred Richard Roundtree, but actually all this is actually based off of a detective series novel, or rather a detective novel uh, of the same name from author Ernest Tidyman. So it, all this was based off a novel, but now in 2019, we now have five films. Now, who is Shaft? Well, if you don't already know, Shaft is the coolest private eye in New York City. He's a bad mother, shut your mouth. <laughs> At least that's what, that's how the theme song goes uh, from uh, Isaac Hayes. He's the, um, uh, the, he's the, you know, the artist who performed the, the famous Shaft theme song. But anyways, we're not here, here to talk about the theme song. We're here to talk about the tw 2019 film Shaft. And I wasn't really, I wasn't really expecting much going into this film. Heck, I didn't even know I, that this film exists until like a few weeks ago uh, I saw the trailer for it and then I went to watch it they really sold it as an action comedy and it is a full-on action comedy I kind of expected you know the sequel to Shaft to be more of a you know a crime thriller much like the 2000 film you know that came out 19 years ago Samuel Jackson looks great by the way <laughs> but um I expect more like that, a crime thriller, not so much humor. And the humor is a bit over the top in this one, uh, but uh, like this one is quite different. Uh, this one, they introduce the sun, and the sun is the element that actually takes away from the whole theme of Shaft. And that's something I, I kind of say weakens the film. Because Shaft is a badass, you know what I'm saying? The original Shaft is a badass. Samuel Jackson is a badass. And then Jesse the Usher playing J.J. Shaft, I mean, he's the complete opposite. And Samuel Jackson kind of has to make him more like him. And, you know, there's that chemistry there. But, it, like I said before, when I go into a Shaft film, I don't want to see, like, this, this kid being all, like, uh, conservative for lack of a better term uh, but what I'm glad about is that this film is a breath of fresh air in the sense that a lot of the humor is still very politically incorrect and quite can be borderline offensive uh, once they bring in Samuel Jackson's character John Shaft in then it just it, it's like a different film almost because like he just brings it back right he brings back the whole theme of Shaft, which Jesse Usher is totally missing because he's just not that character. His mom didn't want to raise him like the womanizing, cool badass that Samuel Jackson and his grandfather is. Uh, so anyways, so I find that it takes away from it. But that's the whole story of this one. This one, they're bringing in the son who's nothing like his father. And, um, you know, it's an estranged son. And, you know, there's that father and a strange son story there which is something we've seen before but they bring it into this uh, I guess black exploitation era it doesn't even feel so much like black exploitation era film anymore because it's so um you know it's so modern it doesn't have that feel anymore but at least they got in a pretty decent soundtrack and I wasn't going into this film expecting anything spectacular I mean you got your fair share of gunfights and they're all a lot of fun to watch uh and it's cool to watch Samuel Jackson, you know, like kicking ass. I, I love watching him do that, you know, like with the trench coat and, and, and the guns. He, he just looks good doing it. And then, um, 
and, and, and it was great to see Richard Roundtree show up in this film, even though I already knew he was going to be in it. And if you're a fan of Shaft, I would say that this is more for the fans of Shaft. Um, you, like, you won't know who these characters are if you knew not, know nothing about them. Uh, but um, at least the theme song's there. I don't like the updated version of the theme song. It's kind of crap. <laughs> but, uh, but as for this film... I mean, I enjoyed it for what it is. It's nothing groundbreaking or spectacular. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. It's just your average action comedy. That's what it is. It's like a buddy action comedy. And it's got, um, you know, it's 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 got a fair share of humor in it. And there you have it. And uh, yeah, 5 out of 10. And uh, that's all I got to say in this review. Um, go check it out if you want to just like kill some time and watch uh, watch an action comedy. But it's it, it's nothing like the, the first one, right? Anyways, that's all I got to say in this review. Thank you so much for watching. If you if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. I'll spell The Rage Nation. My name is Oxy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.